Great to have you here. Let's begin with the District Chief Executive for Sechwe Kumeu, Samuel Ejekum, who has blamed the poor quality of work and contractual challenges, among others, for the delay in completion of the Kumeu District Hospital. The hospital started in 2014 and was expected to be completed in 30 months, but six years on, the facility remains uncompleted. Residents have been enraged about the stalled project after President Ekufado announced the construction of 88 new district hospitals nationwide. But speaking on news desk, the DCE said government will have to spend more money to get the facility completed. There was a forensic audit that was conducted um, and it came out that out of the $138 million that uh, was released by UKEF, to the NMS, uh, to government of Ghana, so that the NMS, as they execute the project, they measure and pay them, because the project is a re re-measurement. Um, clearly, as we speak, if you speak to NMS, they will tell you that um, the work that they've done, um, the Ghana government still owes them. Besides, um, contractual agreements like that, when they import the prefab from um, outside, they were supposed to enjoy tax waivers, all of them, the government of Ghana did not adhere to or did not obey the, the, the contract or respect the contract. And that, um, uh, for that matter, it has, they, they, they had to also look at it again. So, yeah, they raise issues and then the contract that's also the, the consultant, that is the Ministry of Finance and the Ministry of Health Engineering team also raised issues of tough standards in terms of wiring and then the, some of the quality of the prefer. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you, in principle, the NMS team who came from UK agreed on the ground, and then they decided to do something about it. And the Minister for Health said, look, or the Ministry of Health team that who came said, look, you, we have to set up and make sure that we let the project continue. So just calculate whatever variation that arise out of the delay because the project was halted you know it was supposed to be completed in 16th october 2016. Mm -hmm. that the contract was the contract expired and that they had to be we had to renew the contract and then renew the letter of that the lc and then also restore the tax waiver that the previous government did not um, respect so, so in essence you're saying that it is going to cost us more to get back to the project and have it completed? Yes, as I'm speaking, if I'm not, uh, my, my memory serves me right. The $38.8 million as we speak, even if we get that money, it cannot complete the project because look at so the- So how much do we need? How much do we need to fix this problem? The two projects, as well as to also initiate or call, continue that of uh, ABTC, we might, might need $93 million US dollars.